Now we're going to add a little bit of color to our 3D scene. So we're going to start with the code from the previous lesson with all the comments removed. The first thing we want to do is go to init rendering and call gl enable gl color material which is going to make it so that we can use colors. It enables coloring. So now we're going to go down to draw a scene and change the color of the trapezoid so that it's purple. So what we're going to do is call GL color 3F 0, 0.5 0 and 0.8 and those numbers represent the red, green, and blue components of the color using the RGB color system. And if you're not familiar with that, I recommend that you look it up online. It's a good thing to know for computer programming. And so right here we have 50% red, 80% blue, and no green, which represents purple. So that's the color of our trapezoid, and let's change the pentagon and the triangle to be green. So right here I'm going to call GL color 3F with um, 0, 0.75 and 0 which is green. And this call affects all of the uh, it affects all of the polygons after the call. So both the pentagon and the triangle will end up green. And let's take a look at what we've done. So here it is. Triangle and the pentagon are green, and the trapezoid is purple, just like we wanted. And now I'm going to use a little bit of color blending to make things interesting. Um, color blending, what happens is I use a different... I specify a different color right before each call to GL Vertex 3F, which um, basically each vertex is going to be assigned this color, and OpenGL will smoothly blend among all of those colors over the surface of the polygon, and you'll see what it looks like in a minute, so you'll have a good idea of what that does. So what I'm going to do here is just pick a few colors kind of arbitrarily so that we can see something, and I'm also going to go down to the triangle and change the colors of the vertices of the triangle. So just put some numbers here, have some different colors so that everything is nice and colorful. And each vertex is getting its own different color. So now we build the project, and let's take a look. So here we go. It smoothly blends among the four colors at the different vertices of this trapezoid and the three colors at the vertices of the triangle, which is pretty cool looking. Actually, the first time I saw it, I was pretty impressed. And um, so it's actually pretty cool that just with a couple of lines of code, we can make some cool looking coloring. And now what I'm going to do is, or actually first I should point out that each call to GL vertex, or GL color 3F, affects all the vertices after it. So for instance, if we just wanted these first two vertices of the triangle to be, uh, what color is this, orange? Then we would just do that and we, we wouldn't have to call GL color 3F a second time, it would just automatically assign orange to both of the vertices like that. So now I'm just going to do one more thing. I'm going to change the background of our scene from black to sky blue. So right here in the init rendering function, I'm going to call GL clear color, which sets the background color. And going to use sky blue, this color right here, and, oh, misspelled it, um, and also this fourth parameter, the alpha component, it's just one, just leave it as one. So now we build the project, and run it again, and here we have it. 
the background is sky blue. The shapes are colored with all this nice, crazy blending stuff going on. And it looks cool. That's the way that we do colors in OpenGL.